Rate of change of balloon height. A balloon leaves the ground 500 feet away from an observer and rises vertically at the rate of 140 feet per minute. At what rate is the angle of inclination of the observer's line of sight increasing at the instant when the balloon is exactly 500 feet above the ground? So here we have a diagram which depicts the situation. Observer O is 500 feet from the point where the balloon was released. Now it rises up at the rate of 140 feet per minute. Now you'll note OQ is a constant distance, it does not change. Only the height changes and rate of change in the height of the balloon is also given to us. What we need to find is the rate at which this angle is changing. Since the balloon rises, this angle, the line of sight angle, changes, right? This is what we have to find when the height is 500 feet. Now, since we have to find this angle at height of 500 feet, we have another diagram here where we have shown that particular instance of time at which we are interested. So, 500 feet is a space between the observer and the point where the balloon was released. And that is the instance of time when the balloon was 500 feet above the ground. So now look at it like these two sides are equal. That means it's an isosceles triangle with 90 degrees here. So that angle should be 45 degrees, right? So that is what we can have before even we start the problem. So let's write down what do we have. So we are given that the balloon rises, so rise, let me decide, let me define a variable x which depicts height of the balloon. So in that case dx dt is the rate at which it is rising, right? So it is dx dt is equal to 140 feet per minute. Now at what rate is angle of inclination of the observer's line of sight increases at the instance when balloon is exactly 500 feet above the ground? So let that angle be theta. The rate of change of angle d theta over dt when this x value is 500 is what we need to find. Now since we need to find theta for a given x, we need to relate them somehow theta and x, right? It can be related very easily with the help of tangent of theta, right? So what is tan theta equals to? Now tan theta is equals to x over 500. So that is the relation. So first step is sketch a diagram. Second, write on what is given, what you need to find. And then from there, figure out what type of equation you are required to solve the problem. Now, since you need to find rate of change of theta with respect to this height, so you want a relation between theta and height, and that is a good relation to start with. Now, we can differentiate both with respect to time. So, if we do d dt of tan theta and d dt, that means differentiating both with respect to time, what do we get? Differentiating tan theta we get secant square theta, right? So we get secant square theta times d theta over dt, right? That's the chain rule. And here, x over 500 is just 1 over 500 dx over dt. So that is what we get. Now from here, we can always isolate rate of change of angle and find our answer. So let's do that. So we can now write d theta dt is equal to 1 over 500, right? 1 over 500 dx dt. First, let me write all these things. Then we'll write substitute values. And 1 over secant square x. So 1 over secant square theta, right? That's the angle. So that is what we get. Now, at the instance when x is 500, what is the situation? d theta over dt for x equals to 500. So that means we have 1 over 500 
dx dt is given to us as 140. Now that is also in feet per minute, so that matches, okay. And this is also in feet, same units. We have 140. And secant square theta when x is 500, we can find from here, correct? Now, what is secant square theta? So this is a right triangle with equal sides. So this side should be square root 2 times whatever the side is, 500. So that is our hypotenuse for this given side, right? Now, square of that. So secant is reverse of or reciprocal of cosine, right? So secant square will be 500 square root 2 times 500 divided by 500, correct? So what do you get? You get square root 2. So 1 over square root 2 square. That is secant square theta. The angle is 45, correct? So for 45 degrees, you know, it's 1, 1. Let me write down. Standard formula for 45 is, that is your standard triangle, right? 1, I mean, square root 2, 1, 1, right? That is how your standard triangle is. Special triangle with 45, 45, 90 degrees. Secant theta will be square root 2. So we substituted square root 2 for that. And now we can solve this question. Let's use calculator or, or what we can do is we can write approximate answer here. So basically it is 2. So when you divide, so let me simplify it right there. So we'll write it in fractions. 0 and 0 cancel out. And uh, let me write. 14 divided by 2. So we have 14 divided by 50 times 1 over 2. That is what we have. So we can divide this by 2. We get 7 over there, right? So we get 7 over 50 as our answer. So half of 7 is actually equals to 0 0.14, right? 0 0.14. Remember, angles when we are talking about in trigonometry are in radians. So that is radians per minute. So that is our answer. Correct? We can clearly write down the answer. That is the rate of change of the angle of sight is equal to 0 0.14 radians per minute when the height of the balloon is 500 feet. Okay, so you should write the complete sentence. And that's how we should be doing questions like this. So let's get back and uh, let's review how we actually did the question. So to solve such problems, first thing is always draw relevant figures which should depict the real life situation, right? So that is what it is and then since we wanted to figure out the rate of change at x equals to 500, it was kind of important to draw another triangle to represent that situation. And then, second step is find relation between the variables. So once you define the variables, let's say x is the height and theta is the angle, then you have to find relation between them. In this case, it was tan theta. Differentiating both with respect to time leads us to the result, right? Remember the units. In trigonometry, always units are in radians, not in degrees. Okay, that should help you. Thank you and all the best.